What's up guys, this is Zed and in this video I'll be showing you how to put your created player you made for your player career mode into your manager career mode, whether it's the normal career or the creative club career. So first of all, you create a player, obviously, use current sports. Current sports or initial sports, that one really doesn't matter in this. In this. So create a new player. So obviously you guys have already gone through this process, you've created a player. So I'm just going to create one right now and jump to the parts of the video that are needed. I have created the player called Bradley Davis. This is everything I did for him. You can pause it if you want to, but it's really not important because yeah, it's really not important at all. But anyway, I want to put him in a team just because I can't. So I'm going to put him in Manchester City. I don't even know what number I picked for him. But yeah, I mean, you're going to do all of these when you're making a player. So I mean, this part is just for the people that um, want to see it if anybody actually doesn't know how to do that i guess but i mean this, this part is really not important in the process i'm just like creating the player i know all right so there's a player right there forgotten his name already but that's what he looks like and yeah so i mean you guys go through all of this so once you have already created a player and if you have played your player card mode to some extent and you are kind of tired of it and you want to put your player in the manager card mode and this is how you do it so when you're in the main menu for people that don't know all you have to do is just like move right and you see like the setting icon has been highlighted so you click on that and you come to this part of the of the game yeah this menu whatever this is then you go to create player your player is already created but i mean it's created only in career mode so you actually don't have access to the player outside of career mode so if you want to do that i mean you pick any any um player that you want here and then you go into the game you put in the same name putting his name i think it was something davis brooke davis i'm not sure but i mean it really doesn't matter because i've actually completely forgotten that guy's name but i'm just going to put brooke davis just because i have forgotten what his actual first name was so i'm going to change that to davis real quick and yeah, he was number 10 and he was from England and he was playing in Manchester City. So you could just look for Manchester City, look for the Premier League and then Manchester City. Yeah, all right. So you set his um, age and his birthday if you want to. I mean, all of that is just for realism. If you want it to be the exact same as your player or if you have played to like if you play like five years into your player career mode, you can just like increase this by five years. So he's now like five years older, but still the same birthday and all that. So um, he was five, he was six, and uh, he was quite slim. All right, he was a striker. He was left-footed. His um, I mean the the attributes don't really matter right now because I don't really need to do that. So here comes the hard part. You want to recreate exactly what it was, but you can't remember exactly how you created it yet. So if you haven't already created like a bunch of players after that one player that you created in career mode, all you, all you need to do is just like come here, import face, and you will see the list of players that you have created in the past. But so this was the most recent one. Um, if you look at the date, it's today's date, and then career mode as well, because he's from because you created him inside of career mode. So you click that. So all it does is just changes the the structure of the player's face. So all you have to do is just change the skin tone to what you picked before. Well, that's you this, but well, I want to go with this one this time. Okay. And then the eyebrows, like everything else is the same, like all the morphing you did, everything else is the same. The eye color is different though. So you're going to have to change that to what it was before. So let me just do that real quick. And yeah, everything else is the same. The nose, the jaws, everything. And then it's just the eye color, the skin color, and the hairstyle and beard styles, and the facial hair that, that are different. So I'm just going to do that real quick here. And it was colored uh, a kind of sky blue. All right, there we go. Yeah, so that is what the player looked like. It really isn't what it looked like because I actually changed the, whoops. Because I actually changed the um the the skin color, the skin type, the skin color, yes. So I mean that really doesn't matter. If you guys want to create the player exactly exactly how you created him in your career mode, then feel free to do it anyhow you want, basically. Just for the sake of the video, I'm going to change his skin color back to what I actually set in the previous in the career mode, just so like it's the exact same player. Alright, so there we go. So 
we've created the player now all we have to do is save it to save it just have to i mean it's pretty straightforward how to save it just press save on that and yeah you're good to go so if you go to edit player you would see your player that you created yeah there you go um brooke davis i don't even know if that's that's the actual name I've completely forgotten but yeah that's the player you created um i didn't touch the attributes so he's kind of shit so he's currently in Manchester City right now, and if Manchester City is still the team that you want him to play in, then all you have to do is just leave leave him like that, and then go to Manager Career Mode, start a new one. Use current scores, because if you use initial scores or you download later scores, it's going to cancel the current score file you have and go with a completely different one so your player will not be there so i repeat you absolutely have to use current squads here new manager career mode and then use current squads that's how you do it so ev i mean every single player that you create is going to be in the game whatever team that you you um put them in so you can actually do something like that where you like put your creative players in different clubs and just try to buy all of them from different clubs or something like that you can always do that but right now I'm not going to create a manager because we're going to Manchester City. We're going to be using Pep Guardiola here and Manchester City, obviously. So we're now in the Manchester City car mode and you want to look at your player who is currently in your squad. Obviously, he would not be as badly rated as this just because I didn't touch his rating at all. That's why he's like this. But here is your player, actually. So you can actually see him in the squad hub. I mean, FIFA doesn't give you a face or the FC24. EA Sports doesn't give you a space, so a face rather. Sorry. So here's the player with the blue hair, number ten, and badly rated fifty nine. So I mean, you can always change the player's ratings in that attribute attribute side in when you are creating the player. So you can now play a manager car mode, like start a new one with your player from your player car mode. So if you want to simulate a situation where you want to buy your player from the current club he's in, all you have to do is just start your car mode in a new club. And then, I mean, if you put him in Manchester City, if he was currently in Manchester City in your career mode, all you have to do is buy him from Manchester City, all right? So you start like in a, in a team like Arsenal or Barcelona or Real Madrid or something like that. And then all you have to do is just go into the transfer window or the transfer hub and buy your player. You know his name, you know his everything. So just search for him and buy him. Also, the same thing as you create a club. If you want to buy your player in your club, I mean, all you have to do is just create the club and then go to Manchester City and buy him. All right, so that is that for the first part of this video. And for the second part, if you want to put a bunch of players into your create a club career mode and or you don't want to have to buy them and spend a whole lot of money on players and all that. So all you have to do is just put the players you create in the free agency. And you see like the players that are actually in my create a club career mode, they're all wearing the free agency kit. So that is exactly what I do. And if you want to know how to do that, um, if you create a player in a particular team, for example, like the player we just created now, if you want to move him from Manchester City to another team, you just have to go to, um, sorry, let me go back, edit teams, then club transfers, then you look for Manchester City in the, I mean, obviously you know how to find Manchester City, and then you click on Manchester City, you go down to look for your player, I mean, if he's highly rated, it's probably going to be on the first page, but he's not in my save right now, so I'm going to click on him and then it's going to highlight that part on the right and then i'm going to move into the free agency and all so if i want to move my player and the other players that i have out here into a different career mode into 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 my creative club career mode all i have to do is just start the creative club career mode which is new manager career and to use current squads don't forget you have to use the current squads i want to play as real manager because i really can't be bothered to you know start creating a new manager right now so advance and then you create your club you name your club whatever you want to name it i named my raiders fc and you can always just like get a nickname oops you can always just get a nickname i mean raiders is currently in the game so i can just do that and yeah so that's how to like start creating your team i mean you guys should know how to do that obviously so you pick whatever team you want to replace if you want to like replace the club with the championship would replace Luton Town because they're the lowest rated team in the um, league right now. Manchester City is going to be our rivals because they're the highest. Not really, it's not really important doing all of this, but yeah, just basically create your club 
see your liking and I'll jump to when I'm done with this. All right, now that I'm done creating the club, all that's left is to go into the transfer hub and find all of the players that I created and are all in the free agency. Do all the normal things you normally do when you're starting a career mode here. And then once you're done with all those, you go to the transfer, the transfers tab. And then you can either start from transfer hub. I prefer to start from transfer hub. So just like search for players and then you start typing the names of your players. I think his name was Brooke Davies. Yeah. So there he is, currently 23. I think this should be him because, I mean, it's from England. He had the same stats and all that. So shortlist I'm doing transfer hub. That is our player that we got. So he's currently in the in the free agency. So if I want to bring him into my creative club, I want to start my creative club with all the different players that I have, like that I've created. So I just like approach to sign, basically. And then you do the entire signing process. You sign your player, you give him the wages he wants. And then, um, you know, just like, sign them the way you normally would sign a player so i'm just going to go with all of these for now no release clause yes obviously and his weight i mean i put 1 billion so i could literally just give a 23 year old scenario rated player 100 million pounds well, okay so yeah they agree for that so he's currently it's currently now in your team i mean they, they show you the cutting and all and yeah that's basically all that happened so i would show you um the player in the team in a bit here so you've already bought him it's no longer in the in the um hub in the transfer hub so you go to squad hub and then basically look for a player there's a player there the 59 rated brooke davis that you have created obviously he's good i mean your player should be like you know way better than this obviously this is just for the sake of the video i didn't bother to to um use the attributes and all so that is how to bring the players in. So if you want to just bring in new players, you just search for them, the players that you created. I mean, if you guys watch my um, Creative Club Carry Mode, you know this guy, Shaver El Fakir. That's another player that I created that I can bring into my team. So it's basically just the same, the same approach. You sign him into the team, you do all the wages, you negotiate with the agents and all that. And then once you're done, you bring them straight into your team. So there's the player that I just brought into the team now. He's currently a player in the in, in my creative club. So before you guys do this, if, if you guys want to create a bunch of players and put them in your creative club career mode, you have to think of this first, yeah? Um, you have to make them a bit on the young side because if you create a player that's over 30, there's every chance that if you go into your career mode, he's not going to be there because he has already retired especially because he's in the free agency. So there's every chance that he has already retired from the game and all that. So you don't see your player. So I would say, I would recommend creating a player between the youngest and like maybe 26 or 27, just to be on the safe side. I've never created a player that is 28 and older. So I really don't know if it will work if we do that. So, I mean, I have, and most of the time, I mean, I've created a player that is like over 30 before and sometimes they're not there, sometimes they're there. So if you want all your players to be in the game, you have to make them young. Not really young if you don't want to do that. But, I mean, between the youngest to 25 or 26 should be good for you. So you can create your school team. You can create anyone you want. You can put, like, celebrities in the game and just, like, put them all in your create your club career mode. So all this is actually without mods. I mean, obviously, not talking about the celebrities at all. But yeah, everything I just said right now, apart from the celebrities is without mods so you can do this easily with your creative player um too bad that you can't actually create a player with tattoos outside of the player career mode i wish ea would actually just let us do that it's just going to be way more fun and all so yeah basically that's how to put your creative player in your career mode and also you can put these players in in your normal manager career mode your creative club career mode anything you want really you just have to create the player transfer him into the free agency and then you can bring him into whatever club you want and if you don't want to like do it that way you could always just like put him in the club you want him to be and then just start the car mode in that club and the player is going to be no matter the rating no matter the age and all that so yeah that's basically it thank you guys for watching if you find this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for daily fc24 videos and yeah i'll see you in the next video Peace.